Well, praise the Lord. This is Pastor Nicholson of Gates of Faith Ministries right here in the city of Richmond, Virginia. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, I want to expound on the verse for the day found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. And the Bible reads, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Wow. Now, this is sort of a verse that kind of rolls in on the backside of his teaching on prayer. And I think we need to go back and kind of read into this to see why Jesus would make this statement. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Verse 9 in this chapter says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, if you look at this, actually what he's doing, he's teaching us to pray an unselfish prayer because we cannot pray properly without including our brothers and sisters. He says, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. He goes on to say in verse 11, give us, give us this day our daily bread. And so I cannot pray for my daily bread without including you. And you cannot pray for your daily bread without including me. It's give us this day our daily bread. And verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And so what Jesus did after he was teaching on the model prayer, he pulls verse 12 out again where it says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And verse 14, he said, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And so our true forgiveness is hinged on our forgiving others. Now, God forgave us our sins to bring us into his family. Yes, we were all sinners. We all sinned against God. We were the enemies of God. But God forgave us our sins through Jesus Christ, who gave his life on the cross of Calvary that we might be forgiven and saved from our sin. And so now he expects us to have the same spirit of forgiveness that he has. The truth of the matter is, it's not really us in and of ourselves forgiving. It is Christ living in us, empowering us to forgive. So for us not to forgive simply means that we have violated all that God has done for us and taken matters into our own hand. We have a challenging time dealing with people, trying to get them to forgive. I've seen countless cases by being a pastor where, you know, I have to talk people into forgiveness. I talked to a young lady one time and her husband had done some things he shouldn't have done. And I was telling her, now listen, you're going to have to start practicing now and preparing to forgive him. She said to me, so pastor, this is too good. I, I cannot forgive him yet. Uh, I, I got to hold on to this for a little while. Not knowing how much damage she was doing to herself, by holding on to unforgiveness, because if we don't forgive others, then God can't forgive us. And then Peter, in a lesson, another lesson, Matthew chapter 18, he asked Jesus, how often shall I forgive my brother? To seven times? And Jesus said, no, not until seven times, but until 70 times seven. See, Peter stopped at seven times because that was God's number of completion. But in actuality, Jesus stretched it way out there, saying that, no, I said 70 times 7. And if you dig into this, that is 70 times 7, 490 times per day. Yes, per day. And that means that we have to uh, clear ourselves before we go to bed at night. He said, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. And so whatever happened in that day, you got to forgive them that day. He went on to teach a lesson about how that a man owed his Lord so much money, didn't have it to pay, and his Lord forgave him the debt. Then the same fellow went out and grabbed the man by the throat. They owed him a little piece of money, put him in prison until he should pay the debt. Well, you know the end of that story. 
he put him in prison for life. And when it got back to his Lord, how he had treated his fellow servant, the Bible said he turned them over to the tormentors until he should pay the debt. So listen, let's practice to forgive. I love you with the love of God. Have a blessed day.